CDG are a force to be reckoned with, and they're going to be going up against Fluorescent in her LAN debut on the international GC stage. It is going to be so That's exactly awesome what I did. to Last see night, I was like, fuck it, table. I'm back Everyone home. Here for the pistol. And Indeed. I think a lot of you guys will be happy to hear that. I'll probably use my headset mic when I'm back home, too. All right, let's focus on the SR game first. Let's focus on the SR game, and then we'll talk about this later. Okay, chat. Listen, SR are the clear favorites for this tournament. Yeah, they're just when you have a team like this, you have you have four, five all stars on this team. How are, how are, how are they? They can't choke with a better team they had last year. They have a better team than last year. They can't choke. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, the game's over. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the game's over. All right, no. All right, GG's. Thank you, thank you, Shopify Rebellion, for giving EDG a chance. But unfortunately, the game is now over. If that happens in the first round. I'm telling you, I've never seen a team recover from that and win the game. I've never seen a team recover from that type of whiff and win the game. That's the first round whiff. Where should I move my uh, webcam? Chat. With the Omen, it is Here's fine, right? For them. Here's a good spot, I think. Very strong at controlling some lanes. The one ways you can have in post plants. Very. Are you top right? You will block the kill feed. Through the mollies, that's so much damage. I think if anything, I move the chat to the top right. Actually, no, no, I shouldn't move the chat. This is fine. Everything's good, I think. Around that wall to perfection in the entirety of Shopify. On the scene, they will completely cut down this attempt in poor Wawa Lee. She's taking care of. Oh my God. Clean round by Body spam? Yeah. On, on eco round, really? I Alexis? Mean, no shame? Are we are we seriously so, not so are we seriously that spamming bodies on eco rounds? Through. That's a classic NA. Well, classic NA fashion to do that. Engagement yet for the long awaited prospect and she has her chance now. Blue on the other side, not clearing the angle. It's a tag and floor gets out. Yeah, big damage as well and quick rotates potentially nice. come in from Alexis. Good job by Floor. You know, EDGS is gonna be so sad because now blue, their entry fragger has very low health, forty health. That's a huge tag. Like, I know Flores just tagged someone with the Marshall, but you guys have to understand the, the effects that it has onto the round. Your entry frag, the one who dashes in, the one who's going to be the first one, and will be insta killed. Insta kill. Look, 24 health. All it takes is one bullet to take her down. If anything, she should be baiting here. Oh, wow. But if he takes a fight against Fluorescent, that's going to be different. Great, double peak short. Now, now how are EDG going to have to deal with the short? They're short, they're graffiti, they're hell. How are you going to deal with this as EDG? Three short. They have all five here. Wow. Amazing crossfire by B1. Yeah. Or SR. I keep calling them B1. I'm sorry. SR. Viper is very annoying on this map. You have to. You have to be quick when you're playing against Vipers. You cannot give them time. This comp. This Viper comp from B1. It's very annoying to play against. Oh, he's supposed to get spammed. You know, I feel like that that damage taken by Window guy was very or Window uh, was very uh, unnecessary. You don't, need to throw, you don't need to go inside window and take the spam damage. Everyone spams that line. You shouldn't sit there. That's what you want to see from floor here on the big stage. Garage control taken out from Okay, nice garage. This is a good, this is a good shot. I like this a lot. So the problem is with this Viper comp is that Plat is a very contested backside. Backside Plat is very hard to take. They need to have plans. They need to use aftershocks. They cannot be taking this dry. We cannot be taking shit dry here. We're playing against Viper. We cannot be. We have to spam utility. We need to mob it. We need to be mauling Plat. We need to aftershock it. It needs to be like a, a re-exact. We have to re-exact on them. Take back, back, take back side control. Why is the team with the bad bitches losing? Because that's not all it takes to win in the game. It's not about looking good, it's about playing good. Nice setup. Flora has the op too. This game's over. This game's over. You're not going to get like... They're not going to be able to play around without Flora interrupting every single round now. It's going to be very annoying to play against. Oh wow, actually they have a, an interesting setup. They have no omen towards... Why would they not play omen? C, I, I would have liked to see Fluorescent fall off then. I would like to see them not try to hold C there, but they don't have any smokes. You have no smokes on C, it's a very G hard bomb to the hold. We have the Viper all C long, but I don't, I don't know. This. I don't know this. I don't know how we didn't hold it. But they're pushing spawn through the Molly. Why would they do that? Oh, great crossfire, though. Oh, no. The pressure is really showing. Yeah, uncharacteristic. Go for it. Nice, this is a classic C split. This is a classic C split. I don't know who created this strategy, but it's a classic one. It, work, it works really well, too. It works really well. I, I get caught off guard by this so much. If any omen does this to me, like, it's just very annoying to play against. Nice, fall off. 3v3. Jimmy Lu? Jim Lu? I don't know if that's how to say her name. But I think our stun should be recharged soon. They should flash peek this for the bomb. Nice Molly. That's very good. The stun should recharge soon now. 
Flash peek on next. Oh, Molly missed. Good stun. Very good stun. But can we spam? Oh my god, we're not spamming. We're missing the spam. Oh, low! Wow. Well played. Well played, well played. I don't know if that plant was ideal, though. I don't know. I don't think they planted the bomb correctly for that spam. Wow. Look at this setup. V1. We just, I keep calling the V1. I, it's so weird to call them SR to me. I haven't been caught up with the lore, so like... Yeah, good, good retake. Legged him? No? Walled him? No? Did not? Wow. Okay. Wow, that's a great KG ult, too. I took get them all to space. I should counter this guy ult. And once again, EDG opting for spawn control here. Are they gonna push her? Oh my gosh, that's such a blunder. Look how, look how they're pushing so far against an op with no utility. Yeah, I know. This is raps, bro. I saw her outclassing them right now. No. Nice try. It's all good. I really think EDG are just feeling the pressure right now. They they don't know how it feels like to to win around yet. So they don't they're not they're not playing confident. They're not they're not feeling confident. There's probably a lot of pressure on them right now. They're playing in front of a crowd too. Honestly, those wide swings are just eating EDG up. They have to be able to get over the short peak. Good. The operator in hand. No more push, but we'll post on this very common angle. Dog spots out just the one. Doesn't see Jet, but I think it's a it's a fair guess that it would be there. The miss does end up coming in, but still EDG haven't Are they Radiance? Uh, uh, most of them there. probably are. Still playing around C. I think, like I think most of them, uh, probably all of them at champs are probably fight. Radiant, I'd, I'd assume. So that's weird, I don't... But did EDG no take a timeout while I was talking to their chat, or they still have not yet to take now, a timeout? Have bitten on it a that's very interesting that they wouldn't take a timeout when they're not 0-7. Maybe they have no coach, or maybe their coach doesn't care about winning. One or the other. Yeah, it's not looking good. Fluorescent with knives on land. Oh my! See, like Flores is just like me. Like I think, see, Flores is missing her knives. It's probably not her fault. It's definitely the knives. The knives. I think. I think Riot did a shadow nerf to the knives. She miss, she's missing just like me. Okay. Oh, come on, EG. We gotta get. Let's get some fire in here, bro. Let's chat. By the way, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not watching this next series, bro. I'm watching this series only. I'm going. I'm going straight to playing ranked. I only care about NA teams. I think they're right. Have to break this momentum soon. Floor pushed off the line. It's a fast hit into A. And this time, no Viper utility, but who's yeah. here? It's just... Fluorescence is getting all the first kills. It's so good. And she's not doing too much special. She's just doing the, She's just doing what needs to be done. She's just doing what needs to be done. Oh, Wawa. Afis is probably like, what are you doing, Fluorescent Man? What are you doing? I'm just kidding. Afis doesn't care, probably. Listen, I think Blue um, is rushing a lot of things. Like, rushing, not, like, not by, like, running it down the side. I mean, like, the steps she's not okay. she's missing right now I, I, when entering I like it seems like she's not ready for she's not scaling properly if that makes sense it's very important when you're playing against elite operas like fluorescent that you you need to you need to scale properly use utility properly otherwise you're gonna get picked up every single time Blue's a sand and wow, that's that's very tough, man. I feel bad then. I feel bad for DJ that they've put sand in. It's not it's not that blue is bad, it's just like the, the chemistry is probably not there. Especially swapping out duelists, it's like that's one of the worst things you can swap out, I'd say. Pretty much just been a lot of kill Yep, good 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 utility, good good combo. But, uh, that will Didn't get the pick as a hard shot though, to be fair. Nice, so I think this is the first time we've gotten a slow default out of EG. I could be wrong. I don't even know if this is a default, I think this is a fake fake go A, fake C. Oh, Noya. Come on, they have to kill her. No way. Okay, now they got her. That's fine. But Noya's gonna say it's only two of them, though. That's very good. So they're gonna say, they're gonna say solid A, and EDG's gonna get caught out. So if I'm EDG, I need to, I need to realize this as an IGL. Like, okay, they only saw two of us. They know we're A. Nice. Great call to go believe A. Great call to leave A. That's a very good call. Where we go? This actually might be the first round one for EDG here. Come back C. I like this call. Okay, here we go. Let's see if the dark scans. The dart doesn't scan. It's okay. It's okay. The dart didn't scan. I, I think there's. A, I think there's. You have to shoot the dart in a specific area for it to scan that. And I learned that as Sova when I played in American games. Nice EDG. Oh, here we go. Floor. Floor one v two. I mean, if there's someone to do it, it's Floor. Oh my. If Floor is in flow state, like. Listen, I, I'm telling you, when Flora gets acclimated to the stage, like she'll just always get those kills. She'll never miss those kills. I'd be like, 
Wait, where do, where do other Sarah people put their uh, cam? Above the right side? But you've seen As, I, I don't want to block the kill feed. That's all. That's my only worry. I'm not trying to block the kill feed. People put it right side center. Is that where other people put it, chat? It won't block the kill feed. I, I trust you. I trust you. Let's do it right here. Good. Done. That looks beautiful, chat. I think EDG playing these rounds a lot slower is making this a lot easier. I can't tell. I don't remember if EDG were playing slow before, but it just feels a lot slower. They're giving they're giving less opportunity. Oh no. Why is breach entry fragging here? Oh, we have an op. No, why is why do we have breach entry fragging though? We need the dash to get through this viper stuff and this kill these this kill these mollies. That's a little bit of overheat floor. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, never mind. It's not overheat. She's a team in a plat. Great paranoia. Where is the Sova? Oh, uh, she's going for the EG comp for Lyric. Jay lazy with two months. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's clinical. It's clinical. Yeah, I don't. I don't. If you have ten rounds on defense on this map, it's it's gonna be very hard to hold them to ten rounds. The the eggs eggs are just not looking good there. Did you guys see that shot? Like they're just going in full blind. They're laughing while losing. They don't even care. They know they lost. They know they've lost. They've given up. They're already laughing. They don't care. They've already given up. They're like, they're like fuck it. We're playing against SR. We got one round. I'm proud of that. Well, at least we got one round. Flash ready on the other side of this smoke. Yeah, these 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 are so good. Well played, but I mean, that's again very standard plays out of V1 or out of SR, but they're they're solid. They're solid, good like solid plays. They have a they have a flurry of them. It's not just like the same plays. Ooh, good ult maybe. Okay, so usually when the ult is that close, you don't want to just like jump randomly. You want to look at where the ult is and then dodge it. Um, unfortunately, Sarah wasn't looking at the ult, so she she was just gambling that the guy didn't kill her. But listen, that so ult should never get a kill for how close it was. You can just look at the ult and run away from it easily. Because when you're close to so ult, it's just you just look at it and run away. But I think Sarah doesn't care. She's she's already given. She's already like, oh, we already won this game. I don't care. Let's give him a free kill. This is a group stage, I believe, right, chat? Yeah, this is round one group stage. Remember, three is, is this the first time we've hit B here? I think EDG is the first time she hit B. They hit B. Will it work in their favor? Here comes the ult. See, that's the thing is that, like, back when I played Haven. And she oh, she gets it. <laughs> steals it away. Wait, what? A shot on the other side, though. And that's How did they get the bomb? I thought they were going to block it with the Omen TP, right? Not a care in the world. Leaves it all down to four, you've seen. She'll break the lockdown, but the troops have arrived. All three from Shopify holding on the center. Interesting. I, I thought... So what you guys can do is you can, you can block the Omenal. Go, go, go. You can block the Omenal. I'm pretty sure with three people on it. But I guess I didn't have three people on it. Great round again. SR. 11 rounds. I don't think I've ever seen a team hold the team to 11 rounds. And make a comeback on Haven. Haven's the worst map for this to happen. All three players posted up, but they're not pushing just yet. You see this wall for Sarah. She's gonna get so close. Oh, he's got the gun. She got the gun barrel. Nice, good kill. It's a good kill. So what I'm thinking is, oh wow, Noya is perfectly. Look at this guy's chat. Look at chat. Look at Raider chat. Look at Noya is. And they get the kill. Wow, they're ready for it. And flashing for the ace. Is Florissant going to ace your chat? If Florissant gets to ace, I'm telling you, it's over, bro, for the rest of the tournament. You do not want to let someone like Florissant get comfy on then. Here we go. Let's play double C long here so we can get Flora the ace, yeah? Let's get Flora the, let's get Flora the ace here. Oh, the shock there here might be detrimental, though. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Mel has to go for the kill. What? Why did we switch off? Wait, why did we switch off? Why did we switch off for her ace, bro? The L observer, L observer, L observer. What? Who's that? Prius? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yep, GG. That was really. Yep. That's just unplayable. That's actually that, that peak is unplayable. It looks like SR cropped EG in the first map. It's about to be over. I don't like the way this is headed. Although Noy is uh, gonna steal yeah, the kill. Yeah, it's just they're playing it so well. They're up 12 to one. They're pl still playing so disciplined. They're not giving in them any room. They're maximizing their round differential here. 13-1. I've seen enough. Give them fanatic. He said. All right. 
Nice. Alright, send Fnatic their way. SR, SR is ready to take on Fnatic. Let's go. 50 gives it a reverse sweep. Okay, listen. I'm not even kidding. I'll give everyone, I'll give a thousand subs to my chat if, if EDGS won this map. Actually, no. I take it back. I'll give a million dollars to everyone in this chat. Every single person in this chat if EDGS won this comeback. Actually, fuck it. This round. Oh, GG's. The way EDGS need to recover from this, they need to, they need to mentally reset, bro. They're playing against one of the best teams in the, no, no, not one of the best, the best um, game changers team in the world at the moment, in my opinion. Next map is Sunset. Ooh. Ooh. EDG picks Sunset. Ooh. Yeah, I think, I think the, the depth in North America and both North, and both, uh, the Franchise League and the Game Changers League, they're just more depth. Like, we have way more, like, on average, our players are better. Oh, the game started. Okay, enough yapping. The game started, guys. Thanks for telling me. Why are they stealing? Why are they stealing her ace every single time? What's up, Nicole? Wait, you think Effie is, is happy with the first round and a half we've seen from Shopify? No, I feel like Effie's whole stick is we can't rely on solo plays, guys. <laughs> we need to be a coordinated team. Oh. But something tells me he's not too mad about nope. this outcome. For oh my She's gosh. Florida is raised rocket. Then the game's over. Actually, you know what? You know what? Thank you. Thank you, Fluorescent, for making this um, a lot faster than it had to be. A lot faster. Thank you so much, uh, Fluorescent, for making this game quick, so now I get to go play ranked after this. GG's SR win, 2-0. Listen, this game is actually over. Fluorescent has... Flora has Raze Rocket. Going to round three. She's 7-0. EDG's played with the stand-in. They got crushed and got one round last map. They're not getting a single round this map. It's over. Thank you, SR, for making this quick. To get started stronger, but there's that rocket we talked about. Floor finds that tag onto Yusin, and uh, she's out of the sight. That's a taken for Shopify Rebellion. And look, great off angle, Noya. I don't think I would have even cleared that. Actually, would I have? Yeah, I don't think I would have cleared that. Good off angle. But also, I don't play team. I don't play in a team environment, so I'm not gonna act like that's good. I'm not gonna act like that's like means anything. Oh my gosh. It's just not even fair. The game's over. Floor going for a tactical nuke in a fucking professional match. He's going for a nuke. He's 9-0. Or 10-0. 9-0. 8-0 or 9-0. I don't know which one. Wait, she literally ran away because she's trying to get a nuke. He's actually trying to get a nuke. She ran away when she had 1 HP. She might actually be able to do it too. Oh, she's 8-0. Okay, never mind. It's not happening. It's only three. It's only three rounds, and it's not happening, bro. Your entry fragging on raise. There's no way you don't die once, bro. There's no way you don't. That'd be super impressive. Lesser by here. Look at them diving for her. Oh my god. Blue, blue's just on the hunt. You're gonna lurk on us three rounds in a row. We're gonna try and punish. Doesn't work out though. No, yeah. Gets a beautiful. Was there a stun at least? Here again. How did how did she not get stunned? Wait, how did Noya not get stunned there? I don't get it. Yeah, it's too good. It is a complete shutdown. But Wait, does Noya have the dog crosser tech? I, I saw Zek using that dog crosser too. Is that the is that the best dog crosser to use? The thick the thick dog crosser. Look at that. No, that can't be the good dog crosser. That can't be. I mean, it might actually be. I'm have to use it. Oh, and there goes the uh, tackle nuke. Zek is so small, I can bench press that guy. Congratulations, bro. Omen can't take out the Congratulations, you can bench press Zekin. Demon 1 Crosshair. Someone have question mark? Yep, I do. I'm not going to give it to you either. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to keep it. It's a super secret Crosshair that no one knows. You know, he get, Demon 1 gave it to me because I'm his number one fan. You should riz one of this girl's. I just had to read that question out. I, just, I mean, I had to read that Twitch chat, bro. That was funny. I... <laughs> <laughs> you should riz. You should riz one of this girl's. At Curry, show some ass or else Madge. Nah, I'm good. Bot mid. Players rotating through mid, hoping they can find out Noya, but she's patient this time. Noya plays the same off angle, really? Making sure no one from EDG um, that's, push into the fact that she's playing the same off angle, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. I think I would not play the same off angle if I'm lurking mid, because Here comes the, the person clear, like, died to already. Great counter stun. Dude, this just looks so easy for SR. <coughs> it looks too simple. 
Yeah. They're doing solid postman setups. They have all the utility needed. Like, if EDG need to interrupt them. They cannot play these 5 5 retakes. We need to kill them. We need to kill SR. We're not winning these 5 5 retakes. Yeah, no, this game is over, huh? 6 0. I mean, EDG have one round. In the past 14 plus 6, 20 rounds. 20 rounds have been played. One round has been won by EDG. Or is it someone on the other side? This is a good position by Noya. She probably gets two here, realistically. Free kill. She's a cage, yeah. I mean, dude. Where is the spacing here? Where is the trading? Look how, look how, like, they look so chalked. It looks so bad. Come on, EG. They don't seem, um, they're not moving, like, as a team. Like, that kill was so unanswered. All these kills aren't, like, these, like, these retakes. <laughs> We cannot let these guys get the site, bro. We cannot be playing retake against these guys. We cannot trust our retakes. We're getting destroyed. Let's, let's fucking kill them before they get... I mean, I guess they got a kill before that. They did get a kill, but... They, they, did, they did get a kill before, so it's a 5 4 retake. They were actually advantaged, but they're not... They're not... Their spacing is terrible. Oh, yeah. SR 100% playing TDM right now. It's just free. This could be their chance to break momentum. I think it could turn into their mid dive here. Look how fast blue is moving up here. Here comes the party. Just on the other side, rocket. Oh. Onto fluorescent, a massive player. Oh. oh. Okay. See, we we EG fucking push. We push them down towards B and mid. We got the kills. There we go. But is that enough? Nope. Wait, maybe it could be enough. We need to side throw the body here. Side throw the body now, though. They're going to. There's a camera on site and a couple of trips. Cypher with the body? Oh, wait, am I stupid? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Okay, no, I'm stupid, I guess. Oh, no. 1v1, Noya versus Omen. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Oh, no. oh she you said. She's coming back, but the flank is already here. You see. This has to be the first one around. With oh, the camera. Camera there, it gets broken. Now she has the information, but it tells. Oh, great TP. Great TP. What? That's actually really good. That's actually very like smart. So that, that's actually that's like um a play to win type of play. Like you know what I mean? Like you take the fight to them, don't let them run away. And that's when you know she's playing with confidence when she makes that play. That's good. Only round they get. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that the round they get is when they push and they don't let them put the bomb? Maybe we should do that more often. And not let them put the bomb. Problem is, EDG has no idea where they're going because their lines of information. They have like no lines of information, bro. They need to set like they need to have these points in the map. Where they're losing or gaining information, but they're just losing all the information. There was rounds where they're just playing all far, far back. They fight for one area of the map, and they have no lines of information anywhere else. Everyone plays so passive. All the ones are playing so passive. Oh my gosh, they dodged it. You see, now they're running it down. Now they're just running it down, and it's like, if they're gonna run it down like this, it better be better. It can't just be like. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they went pretty deep there. They went too deep. At least use utility if you didn't go that deep, right? Hey, Wawali got a first, though. She got a first kill. But the game's over. Honestly, I really hope SR just win this 13 one No offense, CDG, but I do want to go ahead and go play ranked here. No, no offense, CDG, at all. You know the four duels combination by APAC was an accident. They thought it was a ping check test. Yeah, I know. And that is insane that they won 13 3. Not only did they win, they won 13 3 on Haven with no smokes. But if there was a map to play no smokes, it would be a three it would be it would be a three map. A three site bomb. Wait, a three site map. Because that way you're able to fake it out. Like fake out. That's like the map you want. To play no smokes on. If you're gonna choose one map to play no smokes on, it'd be a map like that. Oh, is Lotus? On? Okay, yeah, that's right. Lotus. I got confused. I'm sorry. Lotus is probably. I mean, no, Lotus is probably the. I would choose Lotus over Haven to have no smokes anyways. That's that's perfect. I think that's the perfect map for that. Kree, why are you so smart? I don't know. I actually, it, it's it's painful to be this knowledgeable. Like, there's how many people in this that breathe on this earth that are as smart as me. So it's, it's tough. It's tough living this way. Paid chatter? No, he's not paid. He's he's, he's an authentic fan. He's someone who's. That's the, that's, an, uh, that's a fan that thinks for himself. It was the same thing back on Haven. They expect the He understands how gene, how smart I am. And there Alexis left on her own, but she's good enough to get the job done. And here comes that proactive. I mean people already realize how smart I am, but they just don't they, won't, they don't want to admit it cuz their egos. See my me never I say I'm smart, it's not it's not an ego thing, it's an objective thing. I'm I'm just objectively smarter than everyone in the world. Time is an issue. See the holding on to the spike will draw out the ults and it goes nowhere, but I did the job and 
She'll do even more. Yeah, the Zeta Division is kind of on. Sweater is fire, I agree. I wish Zeta Division GC made it to this land, but I think EDG knocked them out, so. Otherwise, I'd be rooting for Zeta Division with the Shodan. G2 versus SMG, who'd you pick? I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who's gonna win that. I wanna say G2, because I'm just used to them winning. But they're the favorite. In my opinion, they're the favorites this year for the match, but if you look at the betting odds, it's not, they're actually not the favorites somehow. You get to take layers upon layers to the playbook here. Next thing you know, she's gonna tell herself to go kill. Oh, brave. She's good at it though. Stack on A here for EDG. Three players set up to hold. Can they finally stop Shopify from getting into this site? Good flash, good peek. Gets one and gets out two. And that's fluorescent down. Dive eliminated, but still paranoid multi flashes. They're gonna keep it going. They have three A. They're stacking A here. Ooh. What an off angle. I don't think I don't think I would have Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do they expect the next one? One. Two. One V two. Noya knows about the Vomar. Get the bomb. Instantly gets the bomb. Plants the bomb. One V two situation. One flanking, one connector. Oh wow, it doesn't plant. I actually like that play to not plant there. This is good. She's loud too. She doesn't care if we have the cam. Where she is. Oh, Raids is dodging the cam. Nice, and now EDG have been able to double up here. Will Noya expect to double up here? I don't know. Overcook? Dude, Noya 16 and 3, bro. It doesn't matter what she does. If she gets the bomb down, she has like a 90% chance of winning the round. Okay, well, okay, that's that's a bit high. I'd say 75% chance. No, 60%. Because Zimulu? Zimulu has, yeah, Prowler. Yeah, 0% chance of winning the round now. 0% chance of winning the round. Zero! Zero, man! Why are we double peeking there? Why are we double peeking there, bro? What the fuck? Do we not know what time is? What send one in, other one hide, guarantee the round. Nope, let's make it hard to give her a chance of winning. It's the pressure, bro, I'm telling you guys. You guys think these are like silver plays, it's because of the pressure. Pressure, it, it, it can change the, it can change the mind. They're not thinking straight. What? How does she know so they're talking trash, bro? What do you- What? Is she just assuming they're talking trash? Oh, hell nah. Wait, anyone actually know what they said? There's no way- How does she- like, No way she's just gonna say, Oh, I think they're talking trash, but she doesn't even know what language they're speaking, bro. She said, come back to and y'all are ass. No, she did not, Blue. I know your ass does not understand. Okay, wait, so can someone here explain to me what the difference is between Mandarin and Chinese? What is, what am I, like, what does that mean, like, some people say, like, oh, I remember I was, I was talking to some of my friends, like, oh, I'm learning Mandarin. But then some people say, like, it's Chinese, bro. It's like, the same way with Indians, right? You don't speak Indian. There's a hundred different dialects. You don't say, there's not, you don't speak Indian. So can you speak Chinese? Is that a thing? So if you, if you're speaking, if there's someone from Hong Kong and someone from mainland China are talking, they can still figure out what they, what they each other are saying, though, right? It's not, like, completely different. It's just different dialects, right? Oh, it's completely different, really. They can't. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. And we missed pistol round. <laughs> and we missed pistol round. <laughs> okay, my bad, guys. My bad. Listen, that's all, that's my bad. I'm sorry. We missed pistol round. I would like to apologize. Bro, Noya is frying these guys. These girls. These agents. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. When in doubt, MFs. <laughs> wow, Noya is no Noya is frying these MFs. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you said these Asians. Nah, I said agents. Oh, good though. And Alexis, and look at that combination of you. The only player not flashed, by the way, is the one Alexis shoots. The, the, just the ability to prioritize the target like that in such a short moment is amazing. Mel will go for more. She gets her fun for once. Let's go, Mel. Three kills. All right, game's over. Thank you, Chop Five, for uh, letting EG have a punch to, to play against you. This is a very good experience for EG. Now they know um, to not play against you guys in the bracket. People knew Floor would be good, but I don't know if people expected them to be this good. Nah, I think people expected this. I think people expected them to be this good. They're like that. They've always been like that. It feels like the pressure. I feel like. I feel like V1 are not. I feel, so I keep saying V1. I feel like SR are not feeling the pressure at all. I'm not gonna lie. How do you think they'd hold up against Fnatic, etc.? Realistically, I don't think I don't think SR would be Fnatic, and I don't think that's a controversial right thing to say. Would they be? They'd be able to get. They'd be able to get rounds, obviously. But I, I don't. Like you gotta understand. Like I don't think they're a franchise. I think all the franchise teams in North America would probably be Shopify. 
There could be a route. They could be. There could. I think Shopify could take maps. I think there's a chance they take maps from these franchise teams, but in a best of three. I have yeah, the franchise teams winning. Possibly SR have played into like you know smaller tier two tournaments in NA and they haven't been able to make it until they make it out one of the, make it out as on top in one of those tournaments. I wouldn't say they can be a franchise to team. The regional experts uh, that, that watch EDG, they said like they're a very close team. You'd say Shotfire Rebellion are super super close. EDG are exactly the same. Uh, they have a cat that lives in their practice room that the team takes care of together. Yeah. It doesn't let them pet it. But it's there. Maybe thinking about they get crew. You think ah, they're not being crew, bro? Crew. Wait. You, I don't think you understand that. Like, even though crew had zero wins in the regular season, they still made the. They still made LCQ. They qualified to, to champs for LCQ. So they're definitely not being crew. Two kills. She's traded. Now a post fight for EDG. The spike's not easily recoverable though. There's three players. MIBR maybe. MIBR be hundred these, bro. So what makes you say that? What makes you say that, bro? Because I think they can take maps. Not a series though. And Wawa Lee cannot get past it. But maybe in the future they can take Matt series and maybe off them. Blue. To try and keep GG's guys. In the upper bracket. Hey, GG's. Oh, no. I do she not like that. Over under. Tap and a nade ready. She knows that Wait. At least can we win the game, though? There, but she's not nice, for GG's. G freaking G's. Uh, thank you, Shopify Rebellion, for making this quick and easy. Congratulations to Shopify for winning the first match on land this year. EDG, nice try. You'll get him next time. Hopefully, next time you have your full roster. It's unfortunate they have to put the send in. Unfortunate.